Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335. Uh, this is pretty much part two of the last video. You guys know that there's a lot to do today, so we gotta get straight into it. Um, we got the CCC and everything. Finally, I can finally listen to some music while I'm driving. I used to listen to the turbo swoosh sound, the blow off valve, but now it's a little scary because whenever you hear the tsh, you gotta look out for a cop because if a cop gets you, it's all bad, man. Everything in California, I kind of lay low. So anyways, there's a lot to do on the 335 today. A lot of things to change to make sure everything is in perfect condition. I want to basically get this car to perfect. I'm not going to settle with a little bit of flaw here and there. We're going to go ahead and do everything properly. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get my dad's car to the garage, get the 335 inside, and we got a lot of things to do here. All right, guys, you guys know first things first is the CCC. You guys can see it's been stuck on that screen since the beginning of time. As you know, your boy just can't take it anymore. So, let's go ahead and show you guys what I got in the mail. So I went ahead and ordered this from eBay. I did go ahead and pay a little bit extra than usual, but I got a CCC, finally was able to afford one of these bad boys. They're super expensive, I don't know why, they're, a couple, like, they're upwards of like $300, and you guys know that that ain't cheap. That's actually not cheap at all, but you know, I bought it from eBay, so if anything's wrong with it, or something just doesn't work out with my car, I can go ahead and send that one back. And I'll get my money back. I'm like buying it from like a local person or something. When it says mine, it's mine. If I don't need it, I don't need it. I'm screwed. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy it from eBay. Have a peace of mind that they said it's confirmed working, unlike the one I purchased for this car. Because you guys know, I bought the one from a junkyard. It was broken and they couldn't return it. So long. Long story short, um, I had to buy another one. So this is my third CCC in this car. First one had a bullet. Second one is frozen. Third one, please God. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get the CCC to work. Oh my god, guys. Oh, boys, we did it! You guys heard that? God's plan. Oh my God, dude. It just feels so good. Like, guys, I don't know if you guys knew where this car came from. This car was destroyed. The audio systems were all cut up. The bullets went through all the audio stuff. I had to redo all the fiber optics, all the wiring. And just to hear the bass, the music, everything just syncing together is such a satisfying feeling. Oh my God, damn. I wish it, I would say she's complete, but she's still got some work to do. So, oh man, oh man. Habibi, guess your boy just installed the CCC. Works, everything? Habibi, it works. Hey, alhamdulillah. And even the bass works, bro. Uh, your car? All right, guys, since we're on a roll, let's go ahead and fix all this ugly stuff. Look at that. So basically, um, center caps are blacked out. They're so ugly. Even this emblem, I went ahead and put some set and black wrap right there. It just looks so bad, and the emblem just all scratched up. So let's go ahead and take that off. Take off all these, uh, you know, you know, stupid center caps. And take off this rear emblem. Let's go ahead and swap it out with some carbon fiber ones to match the car more. And at the same time, guys, as I have this wheel off, you guys can see that tree is going down. That's something I've been putting off, so I, I need to get to it. I need to get to it. Alright guys, we gotta remove this boot now because as you guys can see, for some reason, this thing is just destroyed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up, switch out the handles, but we'll keep the same boots because I'll have the black boot obviously, not this ugly looking gray boot. Let's go ahead and just break these stupid zip ties off, swap out the handles now. Put this off to the side, go ahead and use this one. Alright, this bad boy needs a zip tie. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a zip tie on this guy and put it back. And let's go ahead and slide this thing back in. That clips in, and that is a job well done, boys. That's satisfying. 
Uh, all right, guys, we got all the main things done. Now it's time to fix something that's been irritating me for so long. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. We gotta change that. So, so that looks awesome. That's done with. Um, looks honestly really good. I love the carbon fiber. Also with the wheels, finally. It's not just blacked out center caps. It's got the BMW logo and carbon. Um, we almost finished up everything with the car, guys. This is the biggest problem. I'm gonna try to figure out something to put here. If you guys know any decal to get designs, Something that I could put over this little spot right here to cover that up. That'd be amazing. I gotta figure out something to put here or I have to rewrap the entire quarter panel because I did it all in one piece. That's how you should do it. But this wrap, guys, I don't recommend buying Hexus. Hexus quality wrap is trash. So if you guys are gonna buy wrap, stick to 3M or Avery for Metro styling only. I gotta figure out some way to patch this up but at the same time, make it look sick. I can't just put a little piece, it's gonna look stupid, it's gonna look weird. I gotta put like a decal or something look super sick on there. So I figured out a couple designs in this video and you guys let me know if you like it or what kind of other designs we could put in the place of that. But that's the only flaw as of now, but we still got one more thing to do guys, which is replace this one. Just like that guys, looks super sick. It adds less colors, it makes it just look, you know, sleek and slim. I mean, I love it. Uh, on this side, everything's blacked out, but of course, we got the carbon fiber, BMW, center caps. These actually took about a month to get here. They're really hard to find, honestly, that's the right size that fits the entire car all the way around. This kit's about $20. I have a link down in the description if you guys want this kit. It will take about a month, so expect that. Now, I'm happy with everything. So far, the music's running, everything's working. The only issue right now, as I just realized I have a flat tire. Eh, that's no big news. And then we gotta fix that boy. So we're gonna do that in this video because this video is pretty much wrapping up my car. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go upstairs, go ahead and start printing out a couple decal designs and we're gonna figure out what looks great there. Guys, also remember there's a very common failure point inside of here as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix everything, guys. This um, aux auxiliary thing, thingy McBob, fails really early. For some reason, sometimes you put your auxiliary and then the whole thing goes in there and it broke and I have to keep it out like this and it looks all janky. I'm gonna show you guys how you fix that. Uh, I'll show you guys what I do. I'm basically gonna put a plastic piece across here so that this thing cannot actually go in there whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little plastic thing here, show you guys how I do it. All right guys, that's how the aux port is looking right now. So I just glued a little plastic piece to basically slim in this hole a little bit to where this thing will never ever fall in ever again. So I'm, I'm, I'm super glowing that right there. Um, obviously this is like totally janky, but the only way to fix this issue by I asked BMW is by literally replacing this whole center console. So that's literally nothing. You can do something else to make it look cleaner, but basically I just put a little plastic piece glued it off to the side and that's never gonna move now. And this thing will never ever go inside ever again. Without further ado guys, let me go ahead and print out a few designs and see what looks best right here. All right guys, this is a couple days later. Um, we installed the CCC, the auxiliary is not working, so that's something, but music still works, just don't, no auxiliary, which is really, really gay. But anyways, for the most part, the car is done. As you guys can see, I finally got something to fix the the, the, the stupid thingy McBobber, so we got some stripes going. Let You're me know what you guys- What? You're a ricer, you suck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's up? What's up, man? You guys, I don't know if you guys know who Jonathan is, but uh, he's uh, he's pretty much a long-term friend. Um, long-term. <laughs> long-term. Uh, my my baby brother, basically. Yep. Ba basically. <laughs> basically, uh, Jonathan. For those of you guys who are new. Um, we pretty much lived each other for a very long time. He works on cars. I work on cars. He's actually down here for a little bit. He's been in a whole other country for how many months? Five months. Five months. And how much were you making? Because you got a new job over there. Four dollars an hour. So for those of you guys who make ten bucks an hour, yeah. um, just know how, how uh, blessed you guys are. So regardless, um, he's finally back and he's going to be actually getting a 335 in the near future, right? Hopefully. 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 Yeah, we'll and uh, this is the first time he actually got to see my 335. So, you know, he's, he's kind of took out a little bit of a spin with that, you know, blow off valve. And it changes lives, I'm telling you guys. So, <laughs> if you guys like the progress on the 335, let me know by smashing the like button. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see happen to this car. My brother's car is still at the shop. As you guys know that we took it out of the shop to get it professionally worked on. I got some great news. It's looking great. So, obviously, I'm like a disclosure of those photos because, you know, that has to be in a separate video. So, if you guys want to see that, 400 likes and you guys will see that in the next video. But, yeah, that, uh, that brings us to the end. So, peace out. Remember to stay humble. And, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I came a long way. Had a tough few years. Still, I wouldn't change shit. That's the reason I'm here. Had to battle my thoughts. Had to fight my fears. No, I wouldn't change shit. That's the reason I'm here. They can say what they like about me. I'm just moving at a different speed. Everybody was the first to tell me. Not too many saw what I could see.